okay guys you guys are welcome to this lecture and um this video i'll be comparing between ditto music and distro kit ditto music distro kit ditto music distro kit ditto music distro kit all right so um i have some list of things I have some list of things I'll actually be using to compare the two concepts, okay? The, tr the two uh, music distribution giants, okay? But after I'm done comparing them, I'll tell you which one is a giant among them, <laughs> okay? So um, this is my comparison, and this is the most valid comparison because y'all know me, I'm into this business, I'm into artist management, and... It's been a lot of experience out here, bro. Okay, so experience will tell you much more than what you just read in blogs. Okay, so comparing these two platforms, please, you need to get a uh, just pause this video, get a bio, get a pen. Okay, uh, get a bio, get a paper. Okay, because you need to write. I'll be comparing these platforms based on, um, I just wrote, I wrote them in a book though. I'll be comparing this platform based on um, how the site looks like, the pricing. I'll be comparing them based on um, are you paying before service or are you paying after service. Then I'll be comparing them based on how to uh, if you are claiming accounts, maybe claiming Spotify, YouTube, and all that. I'll also be comparing them based on um, how simple their upload is. Okay, the type of music um type they accept then i'll be comparing them based on approval speed how long does it take them to actually approve the song then um i'll be comparing them based on customer care how fast does the customer care reply you i'll be comparing them based on extra features okay i'll also be comparing them based on um analytics okay how can you see that your song is performing across all those other platform and i'll be comparing them based on withdrawal okay how easy is that withdrawal and all that so the first one how the site looks like okay so at least you guys could judge from this so all right so how easy the site looks like all right how easy the site looks like how easy the site looks like which platform got it uh how easy the site looks like i feel this is a 50 50 okay so just write how easy the site looks like 50 50 all right so um how about the pricing okay how cheap it is okay so um this account is basically like uh this account i'm having here is a musician plus account okay um but basically you can see uh the first plan on this showcase Okay, you could see cost $22. Why the second plan cost $39? Uh, this other one, it ranged from $89 upward. Now let's look at Ditto Music Plans. Okay, let me see. Um, see Ditto Music Plans. All right, so the first one, instead of $22 in this showcase, it's just $14. The second plan is $39, 39.99. This one is $39, all right? Then the other one, starts from $89 and this one starts from $59 okay so for pricing Ditto Music has a hundred percent why um Ditto Music has a hundred percent why distro kid is zero okay so D Ditto Music wins on pricing then how about payment before service okay mm, that's basically like when you want to open the account uh do you have to pay before you see all these features Okay, so I have some other couple uh, Ditto Music accounts that I've not even activated, but I can see this, okay? But for DistroKid, you must um, activate DistroKid before you can be able to see this, okay? So they are not even giving you a taste of their platform till you pay the money, okay? So for payment before service, Ditto Music has 100%, okay? So Ditto Music wins it. All right, but at the end of this review, it's not about who has 100%, bro, okay? It's all about who will serve you better, okay? So, um, on the basis of claiming artist accounts, uh, I've gone through Ditto Music a lot, and um, 
I don't see anywhere that I can be able to claim artist account. And when I come to uh, let me let me if I can be able to see something, um, I just want to explain something. Um, there are releases that um, okay, um, through detailed music. Well, let me just have an overview. True Digital Music, when you release your music to YouTube, is released under a general channel. Okay? It's released under a general channel. Okay? So, when you release your song, is released under a general channel. Then, um, for Digital Kid, you actually have your music. You actually have your, your music release under your artist topic. Okay. So um for releases, this show kit has a hundred percent. Then claiming accounts, other Spotify. This show kit just comes to special access. And you can claim your Spotify account, you can claim your Apple Music, you can claim your Tidal artist, you can claim your YouTube channel, you can connect your audio mark. For digital music, we don't have all that. Okay. Perhaps before you can be able to claim your artist account. You have to message the customer care, all right? Making the process cumbersome. Why? For this show kid, you are like independent, doing your stuff by yourself, right? Does it? So for uploads and claiming account, this show kid has a hundred percent. Okay. Then um, for approval speed, this show kid takes three days now. Digital music takes roughly four days to five days. Okay. So this show kid still has a hundred percent for approval speed. Then for um, upload type. All right, so um, upload type. If you come here, if you want to upload music, um, just come to. If you want to upload music, you see that Distro Kid has a variety of um types of music they up they approve. Okay, they approve WAV, they approve MP3, they approve M4A, they approve FLAC, they approve AI FF, they approve wma okay but for digital music uh yeah this digital music approved mp3 too but uh they don't have a variety of approvals like uh okay uh, varieties of the type of files like distro kid okay so distro kid has a 60 percent in this a 70 percent and digital music has a 30 percent in this then for customer care customer care speed uh digital music they reply faster than distro kid okay so digital music has 100 percent in this then for extras that's like all those promotion oh sorry all those promotions and everything oh shit though actually went out all right so let me log in again so for promotions, let's just be having, for promotions, I think, um, for life, you know, 50, 50. So for promotions, uh, digital music has a variety of promotions though, more than distro kid. For distro kid, you just have the YouTube content, store maximizer, which will only automatically deliver this um, album to new online stores. What if the whole period there was no new online stuff? Okay, so you just waste your money. But for digital music, um, you can pay for upload, promo, and you have yourself in playlisting. You take your music to the next level. You have yourself in publishing. You have yourself in different things. Okay, so that's it. Uh, digital music has, yeah, digital kids still have some promo stuff. So, um, digital music has a 60% in this, distro kit has a 40% in this. Then, how about analytics? For analytics, this is the statistics, though. Okay. So, um, I can only see my statistics here because I, I can only see my statistics here because this account is a second plan account. Okay. So for anybody who is using um, DistroKid first plan account, you can testify to me that you can be able to access the statistics, okay? But for digital music, 
whether it's the first plan, you can be able to as, uh, uh, access your statistics and it is so detailed by store, by country, by release, by tracks, by artist. Okay? So I feel like uh, Ditto Music has a 70%, Distro Kid has a 30% in this. Therefore, withdrawal, that's a big guy. Well, for realities though, you could see that um, Ditto Music release realities in pounds, while Distro Kid release realities in dollars, and pounds is above dollars. Okay? So, um, another one for setting up the payout method. You could see that Ditto Music, to set out the payout method, once you have a Payoneer account, you don't have a problem. Okay? But, let me see something. No new payout methods to add. Okay? So, they only accept Payoneer. Okay? Making them limited. But for DistroKid, you can see where you come out to your payout method. You can see that they, they accept e-check, they accept PayPal, they accept wire transfer, they accept physical check. Okay? So DistroKid is above them in different types of payout method. But coming to the simplicity, okay, this is where the big problem is. In digital music, once uh, okay in digital music once you have a pioneer account it is instant withdrawal okay do i really need to show you guys my pioneer account where i would do this money you guys could just trust me right okay when once you link your pioneer account it's instant withdrawal okay instantly withdraw but for distro kid, you have to go through all. Can you see that even this account, our uh, payout um, issue, our tip out needs a little bit information, bro. <laughs> you have to be very detailed about filling out distro kid informations and everything. Okay. Once you make a mistake, they reject your upload and all. Oh, it's it's so sick though. All right. Uh, but at the end of the day. At the end of the day, bro, if I'm to advise you which platform to go for, if I'm to advise you which platform to go for, it should still be DistroKid, okay? But the two platforms be nice, though, okay? <laughs> Don't worry, just message me on WhatsApp so we could talk. You know I'm your G, right? Message me on WhatsApp so we could talk more, all right? But to me, the two platforms be nice, though. Yeah, they're good, bro, they're good. Right, it's fine though. It's fine. Just message me, all right. Probably when you message me, I have like a little bit added experience, and I'll actually tell you which platform to go for, all right. So that's it. I haven't watched this video. You have to message me on WhatsApp to connect with me because I know I added value to your life, though. All right, so that's it, and see you guys in the next tour. Bye for now, guys.